Hi, everyone. I'm James Garbutt. And I'm Denny Dumas. And this is the Garbutt Dumas Real Estate Podcast. Listings is, is obviously a big part of our job marketing, marketing homes well. And that for us really starts with, with the photo shoot. What's the percentage of buyers that see something for the first time online? 97? High oh, 90s? Like yeah. basically everyone sees a property for the first time online. So how well it shows online, whether your website, MLS, social media matters. And it could be the difference between someone deciding to come see this property you're listing or not. So those photos we take really seriously and just wanted to share a little bit of insight into in terms of what we maybe do differently than others in our industry and just share some of the tips that we do. Yeah, and, and I guess it's important. Photos are important. It's the first impression. I guess the one nice thing that I will say is over the last 10 years, we've come a long way. A long way. <laughs> a long way. You know, when I started, it was really common just to have one photo. And if someone had 10, that was a big deal, but they were taking them themselves. Uh, but now professional photography is the norm. And oftentimes you're seeing more than 10, 20, 20 photos and sometimes many more. Um, but the, the importance of the photo shoot is that for us, when we're taking a listing, that's kind of the trigger point of when a client says, yeah, we'd like to sell our home with you. The next question is, when are you going to be ready for photos? And being ready for photos and being ready for showings are two different things. You know, for being ready for photos, you know, the, we're not taking a photo of every single room in the house, nor is the photo picking up on dust and, you know, certain things that, uh, that if a buyer walked through your home, they would see. So, you know, step one is, is basically decluttering and decluttering in areas that are the most photographic areas of your home, the living room, the dining room, the, the kitchen, you know, the, the open living space. If you have a five bedroom, four bathroom home, we don't need to take photos of every single bathroom, every single bedroom, but we definitely want to get that living space and, and maybe two of those bedrooms and maybe the best bathroom. Um, but that, you know, that's my take. I mean, how do you feel about the effort that you see out there in the MLS, what people put into photos? So, yeah, I think that's a really important thing is, is professional photos is almost a prerequisite now as five years ago, there was still a lot of iPhone photos, but the effort going into those professional photos differs greatly across the board in terms of agents in different locations throughout the city. It makes such a big difference, guys. Even for us specifically, talking about our team, we like having two or three people from the team go to photos. Usually we're bringing a couple boxes of little staging items, so plants and decor pieces, table settings. Those extra 15 to 30 minutes that we spend at photo shoots just makes such a big difference rather than having a professional photographer walk in, shoot each room, not necessarily moving tissue boxes and toilet paper and things off countertops and stuff like that. It just, it, the first impression is so important, like we've mentioned a few times, but having that kind of show home feel in those first few photos on a listing, uh, I think is just super important. Absolutely. Sometimes, you, you know, it depends on, well, let's go through our process mm -hmm. here because, you know, from start to finish. When we when we meet with the seller, they're ready to go. They they want to you know, list. We we schedule the photo shoot. That's followed by doing room by room walkthrough of the house with them. So we'll walk through the home and say these rooms are important. These ones need to be decluttered. This is what needs to go. These rooms are likely not going to get photographed. So you can move your junk or move your stuff over to those rooms. Not junk. It's valuable stuff. <laughs> um, but when we're at the photo shoot, uh, when we're doing those little touches with the staging decor. The photographer is framing the shot. They're setting up the camera of the area that we're taking a photograph of. And we're looking at that and we assess what would make it better. Hmm. Sometimes a plain table doesn't look nearly as good as one with a centerpiece on it that's maybe set with glassware and plates. Or that coffee table might look too plain if there's nothing in the middle of it. Hmm. Sometimes there's often too much stuff and we have to take photos off the you know fireplace mantle or a lot of items off the kitchen countertop. But we can do that in the photo shoot. So it doesn't have to be spotless, like a buyer's walking through it and they're walking into a hotel room, that photo shoot. We can frame each shot, but 
having people there putting effort into each single photograph, particularly the kitchen, the living room, the curb appeal shot, those are important. Those are going to last forever. That's what's baiting the buyer to come in the door. And the whole purpose of photos is to show your property at best, to get more attention, to bait more buyers to see your home. If more buyers see your home, it's going to likely result in more offers or an offer and a, and a better outcome. I don't want to be negative on this podcast, Jamie. <clears throat> <laughs> Yesterday, I was looking through expireds, just making a list of people to reach out to this year. And the main photo, so a, a listing was titled Luxury Home in the city that I was looking at. The main photo was an iPhone photo of the kitchen, which was a really nice kitchen, with two random dining chairs just sitting right in the middle of the kitchen beside the sink. How much effort does it take to move those chairs out of the room to take that beautiful kitchen photo? Not much. So the, these are the little type of things that we're talking about is just the extra effort, having a look at the frame that the photographer is shooting and just moving those little items. Maybe it's taking a cushion or two off the um, off the sofa. Maybe it's moving a cushion to the other side of the sofa to make it even. Like those little things add so much uh, in terms of just that quick impression when someone's scrolling through photos online. Yeah, take a toothbrush off the bathroom counter. The little touches. Move but, the plungers out of the way. Like it's yeah, yeah. Less <laughs> is more. So the you know a simple idea is just try to make it look kind of like a hotel. You know, hotel, nice, clean, and simple. Not too plain, not too cluttered. Mm -hmm. There's that right balance in between. How about we talk about the featured shot, Denny? What would you put as the Ooh. main number one shot on a listing? And what's your uh, philosophy there? I think it varies for property. Absolutely. Uh, for condos. Often it's going to be a kitchen living room shot. If it's a view property that is overlooking the Fraser River or uh, in in Yale Town overlooking the water, it's often going to be that view shot. If it's a, a beautifully uh, new built custom home, likely going to be the exterior shot. So I think it varies for depending on what property uh, we're selling, but. Uh, that feature shot is very important. Absolutely. Usually you'd want it, in most cases, you'd want it to highlight the best feature of the home. Sure. For detached properties, though, it's pretty common in most cases to have a curb appeal shot. So even if it does have a renovated kitchen, oftentimes the front exterior makes the front shot. But that front shot is the, the bait that you're trying to snag the buyer with. If you have a view property, put that view shot in. If you're waterfront, make them know it. Um, if you're an old house that doesn't look good from the street, but you have a stunning kitchen, get that kitchen shot is the front shot. Um, and my thought on, you know, this is kind of being nitpicky here, but I like the photos to flow like you're going through a rel, you know, the home in, in the relevant areas, not go from, you know, say kitchen, bedroom, dining room, bedroom, <laughs> bathroom, living room. I like the living space area photos to kind of flow with each other and then go mm. into the kitchen bathroom photos and maybe the outdoor shots. The outdoor photos, when it comes to detached, are the ones that can be at the top of the list or the bottom of the list. Yeah. And it's very subjective. Um, within our team, even, we have dis, you know, disagreements on what the best shots are. Uh, and we're always making adjustments. And, and it is a subjective thing. But a general principle is put the best photos or the photos that highlight the best feature of the property early in the listing or early in the, in the order of photos. Hmm. Um, and uh, the best photo at the front, if you can. Outside of that, Denny. The goal, I mean, the goal with any photo, sh for, for us, any photo shoot is to make the property look as, as good as possible. So those little effort things to us are so small, but mean a lot online. So my challenge to you guys out there, all those agents out there, have perfect photo shoots. That's the goal every single time. And I, you know, just kind of going over a few things, weather, um, if you're doing that dusk shot and you want the exterior, weather's important. But for interior shots, weather doesn't really matter. Often they say gray days gets better interior shots. But weather, you know, uh, take that into account. Take twilight. You know, if you have a view, views look better at twilight light. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're past those fisheye lens days, the really <laughs> wide angle days that made a 500 square foot place feel like a, a, a mansion. <laughs> so that's good. I think we've kind of settled out on the expectation of what the uh, angle of photos are. But I remember for a number of years there, people just getting upset that they would, this looks so big on the online. <laughs> and when they walked through the door, it was tiny. Um, and then the next level beyond photos that's becoming more popular nowadays is video. And for a number of reasons, video is just, it's hosted on different platforms. It's a, a, 
you know, if you're doing video, yeah, you, you, you might, you can't hide all the angles in each shot. So you have to prepare the home a little more. We can't move everything around the house room by room as we're doing it because the videographer is flowing through the room. Mm -hmm. And, and I like video, we're going to be using more of it moving forward. And I think the, the best part about video is just, it's on different mediums. It can go on YouTube. It's the virtual tour link. It, it can be promoted on social media. And for the buyers that really like the property, it, it can, it can really kind of, I don't know, emotionally lock them in a bit more. Mm -hmm. A well done video. hundred percent. I don't think there's much more we can add it. in the I world I think of we photo. can do an entire podcast on video, so yeah, yeah. I'm kind of saving those little uh, <clears throat> creative ideas for a video podcast. Yeah. But in summary, put effort into your photo. Effort. That's all it takes. Effort. <laughs> Have fun at photo shoots, too. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all. That's all, folks.